Just want to talk about this weekend. Can you answer a question for me? I was curious about how the ranking thing works, because one week you were one, then you were four, then you were back to one on the women's side. Is it based upon points you acquire in tournaments, or is that a coach's thing, or is that it's just, just... It's just based on where you are on the TFERS list. The TFERS track list is a sending list that shows where you're ranked in the nation, and they pull it off that. And they look at where you're ranked um, in each event, and then they have some formula they use, and, and then they just rank you off of that. So, so it's a compilation of what everybody does? What everybody does. Okay. I was just curious because yeah. you keep going back and forth. Yeah. At that point. <laughs> yeah. I wonder what it will be this week. Cause I didn't... Yeah. So that's how they do it. It doesn't matter until at the end of the year anymore. So. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah. And as we get kind of winding down the year um, and then having the, the day uh, over, on Sunday was much different than the day. Um, last couple of weeks uh, when the weather was so bad. So just overall idea, overall thoughts about the weekend. Yeah, well, we took, we first took a group to California and uh, they drove out there and drove a couple of days to get there. But uh, you, know, you want to give them those opportunities out there for the distance guys and, and, and girls just because it's good weather, no altitude, no wind. The races are set up well for the distance events. And uh, I thought all our uh, athletes there did a great job. Coach Krolik did a great job getting them ready. And uh, um, Brandon Rivera ran 150.26, and he's ranked in the nation now. Owen Hine finally coming around, ran well in the 5K. And then we had Ricky Harvey in the 1500. He's an All-American from indoor in the mile. He ran well. Jeffrey Kachumba ran well. A couple of our girls ran well. So we had a great weekend out there. It's always good when you drive that far and you do well. You know, it makes that drive home a little easier. Um, and then we had our meet yesterday. It was good weather, and um, finally got an opportunity for our kids to to do really well, and Valda Cabilla ran the number one time in the nation in the 200, uh, 23.55. Winton Sansing ran 20.81 in the 200, in the 400, 200, sorry. And so he's ranked very highly in that. And four by four men did well. Toby Alabi in the 400 hurdles, 51.1. He's going to be top in the nation when it's uh, put on the list. And numerous things went on yesterday that that um, was really good for us. Zeta Swoops automatic qualifier in the discus. Shannon Williams threw well. So we had a lot of great things happen yesterday at our home meet, and uh, we've got a great facility, and um, you can run really fast there. So I was proud of all our kids, and we did a good job. Kennedy Hudson in the 100, she ran 11.6, and uh, we had a couple other PRs from Madison Thetford in the hurdles, and um, she's been running really well in 4x4 four four as well. So it was a good weekend. How important is it to then have the meet here? and be able to, like you said, run on your course, stay in your own bed, and then, uh, especially since uh, the last time, a lot of uh, the uh, different teams kind of came out because of, like, the wind and the bad yeah. weather. Well, you had a great competition. You had um, four of the top goes in the nation there, and um, you just got to um, have those, that competition, you're going to run fast. And our track's fast just because it's, you got the wide bends, it's around the soccer field, so you got the wide, wide bends. It's like running a straightaway on the curve. So you can roll in the 200 here. Um, we've got a reputation for that. And if we can just get a break with weather, you're going to run fast. Um, and it's important. It's good for our athletes to stay home. And it gives them an opportunity to rest up and just have a, they're not having to travel real far. And, you know, they, they run really well here. And they get to run in front of their friends and family. So it's always good. Um, talking back about uh, Zeta, I mean, not just her, but you have quite a few dual sport athletes who come out and end up helping out the track team. How important is that to get teams for, or I guess players from other teams to come out and help? Yeah, we got Zeta this year, and we've had uh, Xavier Rivera, he's a football guy, he helps us in the disc. It's usually, um, you don't get too many runners, but uh, we have had Jesse Thomas, who was a great runner for us that played soccer for Coach Webb. Um, so um, I, it's great that those coaches give them the opportunity to do both because the other sports were their primary sports that they came here for. And, um, when you recruit them, you know, sometimes they'll ask you if they can do both, and um, they let them. So um, we're excited that we have Zeta, obviously, <coughs> and have Xavier out there throwing for us. They're, they're ranked highly in the nation, and hopefully they'll get into the national meet. Zeta's already in because he had automatic, but Xavier may have to throw a little further, but um, he's doing a great job. It's just great to have the support from the other coaches on the staff, and, you know, we make it work, and, you know, we make – make it work with uh, their other sport as well, getting ready for spring ball and things like that, football. Um, during this time of the year, do you uh, push them harder? Or do you kind of lay off them a little bit, try to keep them healthy? Like, how do you, how do you go about uh, it? We, you know, there's a, there's a group that'll just be conference and they'll be done, and there's a group that'll be at the national meet. So they still have a month left. So we're still pushing them pretty hard. And 
Um, we'll back off in the weight room a little bit and make sure that we're healthy going into the conference meet. And then we'll try to build back up for those going to nationals. So but some of the, most of the athletes will be done in two weeks. So we're backing off and making sure they're healthy and ready to go. And then those that we know that will be at the national championship, we're still pushing them because they have to run their best at the end of May. And that's what we're really looking forward to doing.